All right, well, it's pretty common for spouses to work together or best friends to go into business, but you don't often see a mother-son matchup. Yeah, so Carmela Waldman, and psychotherapist and Holocaust survivor, is a co-host of the true crime podcast Surviving the Survivor with her son, former Fox News reporter Joel Waldman. Um, now he is sharing some of mom's life's lessons with the world in his book that's out. Right and now. the dynamic duo is here to talk all about it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so we all know we love our family, but sometimes it can be hard to work with them. How is this working relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Want me to answer I, that or her? No, <laughs> I, I will just publicly, I will just say everything is wonderful. Yeah. At home, we, uh, it's a different story. We, uh, we instituted a new rule today. We are no longer allowed. She's not allowed to say my name because it raises my blood pressure. And she said, do not say mom. So uh, this is day two of the book tour. Of the book tour, yeah. And I asked her how in the world we're going to survive. She says she does not have an answer to that. But <laughs> she said that uh, I'd be nowhere without her. I have, she Aww. says, you have no story. I have the story. Kind of true. I'm just a putz from New Jersey. Uh, she said, I'm the one the, with yeah. the story. Exactly. <laughs> but well, I'm the true. one who cannot write a sentence. I can criticize other people's sentences, but I certainly can't write my own. So he's a good writer. He's um, a good writer. All right. So, well, the perfect duo. There. I know. So yeah. tell us about this book and the whole process. The book, Surviving the Survivor, it is a brutal, honest conversation about life and death with mom as it's called um, what is it about it and why did you guys decide to write this yeah so I will take credit for writing it she'll take credit for being recorded uh, on it yeah. and she'll also take credit for signing all have you ever heard of someone <laughs> who has not written a book who signs all the books that's my mom she signs <laughs> <all the books. laughs> I, I do it so uh, super long story short um, you know my mom is a child Holocaust survivor yeah. on, on a serious note and her story is unbelievable saved by a nun she was younger than my youngest child. She was under the age of five. She had to be separated from her mother. Her father was taken to the Auschwitz gas chamber. Uh, we know how that story ends. Yeah. Uh, she's also lost a child. She's been through a lot. And uh, ironically, before, we had now have a true crime podcast, but before true crime, we were just interviewing anyone. We happened to interview Carol Baskin of Tiger King fame, <laughs> believe it or not. My mom, and my mom, was calling it uh, Lion King. Lion King. Because uh, she didn't know. I was so. not among the 100 million who watched yeah, she, I missed that one. But super long story short, she said, hey, uh, your mom's like an endangered species, like my tiger. She's yeah. not going to be here forever. And that's when I just started writing this. Oh. Wait, Carol so. Baskin was an <laughs> <the> inspiration? <laughs> Uh, by the way, Mitch Album also has a blurb for this book. He wrote Tuesdays with Maury, which is the best yeah, selling. Course, yeah. And we went to the same school, Brandeis University. So he was kind of my inspiration. This is kind of what it's like. It's like a third Holocaust and the rest is, it's like eavesdropping on our conversations, I would which say you might not a, want to do. Don't scare people. It's a quarter Holocaust. <laughs> Three quarter is a little bit better. Yeah. Not necessarily, but it's life. So Carl, it describe life. for us, this is a story that definitely people need to hear your story. How is it for you being able to retell it once again through your son? Well, I don't, I always say I don't want to be identified by this particular mm -hmm. fact of my life, which happened when I was so young. And that there were other things that I don't want to be identified, like losing a child, you know, I don't want to be identified, the poor mother who lost the child. I want to be identified. I was a psychotherapist. I was involved in all sorts of things in life. Mm -hmm. And that's what my, but I think the reason it caught Joel's imagination is because but genetically or I, for some reason, I happen to be an optimist. Yeah. And well, I carry that through my, as a therapist, I think I help by being, you know, sifting it through myself by being an optimist. So our podcast together is like a little bit like uh, oil and water, but... <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's kind of crazy. We bring some humor to the Holocaust and humor to true crime. So yeah. I don't know if uh, we're doing good or... Uh... Uh, hurting yeah. society here, but uh, either I, way. I think we are doing good. I like to think that. Yeah. It flatters me to think I Who's funnier? My mom, by far. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and way, and way no. quicker. Very sharp. Very, very sharp. By the way, we're going to be at the Museum I'm of... I'm going to be 85. We're going to be at the Museum yeah, of Jewish nice. Heritage this Sunday at uh, 1230, right here in New York City. So if you're around, come out and uh, we're signing books. So. I'm curious, what would you say, Joel, though, is one of the more shocking or impactful memories that we get out of this book? You know, uh, in its totality, on, the thing that, that resonated and was the hardest for me was during this process, my father became very ill. They were married 63 years. 
Uh, he died a year ago. So it was me watching my mother in real time going into survival mode. And she talks in the book about how this, this my dad's death was harder than the Holocaust or losing a child. Oh, and when wow. you compare it to those two things, uh, that's saying something. But wow. my mom is truly, and I'm not just saying this because she's sitting next to me, but she's uh, really a remarkable woman. Yeah. Uh, incredibly positive, resilient, and uh, she's a, uh, as I say, a living, That's breathing, walking yeah. piece of history. Yeah, she, yeah. yeah. Great Carm, guy. I love your optimistic spirit, uh, spirit uh, that yeah. you, even though you've endured these hardships, you don't let that be your identity. I feel like that can no, resonate no, with a lot of people. No, we have to form our own identity on positives. Yeah. yeah. And one of the things that I love that you do, and, and even if you're not like, if you're not writing a book, but I loved interviewing our parents mm. and, and, and having that voice on tape and so that you can go back and listen to that memory. You gonna... I, I raised my hand during <laughs> yeah. the podcast. Uh, not only on tape, but we did an um, uh, audible version of the book with the, our voices. Yeah. Oh, that, wow. that almost ended the relationship. <laughs> uh, that was 20 hours of pure agony for me. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. She um, has a tendency to drop some uh, cuss words, let's put it that way. <laughs> and um, when we were doing the audible version, uh, she drops F-bombs frequently, but mostly, <laughs> mostly I, I at admit, me. I admit, so when we were I doing, admit, I admit. <laughs> when, we were do when we were doing the audible version of the book, she was every time one of the, you know, you're reading the book and every time the, F bomb would come up. I'm not reading it. I'm like, I recorded. You said it. I'm not reading it. And so she'd come up with a uh, another word. So well, a euphemism. <laughs> a euphemism. I, I love it. it. We That's love what it. all of us will have to use. Exactly. Well, thank you both for joining us today. It's been a delight. Thank and you. Love Thanks. to see this working relationship. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. To purchase the book Surviving the Survivor or to listen to their podcast of the same name, you can find them on Instagram. The information is right there on your screen. Yeah,